Okay, everybody, we're going to do another review today, and this one will be on some more Steck film. The film we're going to review is the Steck carbon fiber, the dyno carbon fiber film. This is the black carbon fiber. It's not the transparent one. This is the, uh, the black carbon fiber. And what we're going to do, uh, we're going to wrap the front of this Porsche here um, uh, with clear PPF. We're going to do the fenders, the bumper, the mirrors, and, uh, and then the hood. You see the hood right there? The hood is going to get the carbon fiber film, so it's going to kind of, he kind of wanted to go for the GT2 look with the, the carbon fiber or the GT3 that has the carbon fiber and that air vent in it. Uh, so that's, that's what we're going for. Uh, we just got the car cleaned up. We're going to start applying the clear film. We're waiting for our UPS driver to show up with the Steck film. Um, the uh, order was placed last week, should be here anytime today and uh, we'll unbox it, show you what it looks like, show you what it looks like on the car. Stick around. Man, I'm having a bad hair day. All right, guys, so Steck film arrived. Yay! Um, we were 10 feet of it, and that's it behind me on the wall there. So I've uh, taken it out. We've already unboxed this film before. You see what kind of boxes they come in. Um, and if you haven't, check out the uh, Steck Dino Gloss Black video that uh, we did, and uh, you can see what kind of a box it comes in. So go back to what we're doing here. The Porsche is ready to go. The fenders have been covered with paint protection film already. Those right there. Uh, we're gonna do the hood in this carbon fiber film. And this, this film is nothing like the vinyl carbon fiber that you see or the printed. Um, I'm gonna spin the camera around so you can look at it. Okay, so this is it. And I'm not sure if the camera can focus in on that, but uh, I don't know if you can hear it. It's got a, it's got a nice, uh, almost like a corduroy texture to it. And if you look real close at it, it's more embossed than anything. And I don't know if this will focus in here. Let's see here, get my finger in there. It's um, kind of almost like it's embossed on the top of the film. It doesn't go all the way through. So if you've ever dealt with the uh, vinyl film, that looks like fake carbon fiber. It, uh, you pull it hard enough and it tears where uh, it's kind of embossed or stamped or however they make that. Um, this is not like that. This is actual paint protection film. It stretches it, uh, and it will deform if you stretch it. So you, you want, when you install it, you want to be mindful of the way these are running. You don't want to get it on here and have these things going wavy all over the place. So. That's the hood we're going to put it on right there. I'm going to set the camera up and let you guys watch us. My heart would never be much if I started Before you came round I was ready to slow down Before you came round I was heading for a small disaster Ready to blow me down All right, everybody, so we've got the film on the car. I'm going to Put the camera down close to here so you can check it out. It looks absolutely awesome. Almost just like carbon fiber. Now I'm not quite sure if uh, the camera is picking it up. My screen looks like it is, but when I pull out it looks kind of fuzzy. Now as far as wrapping goes, this stuff wraps really nice. And as you can see here, 
hold my camera down here and see if you can see my edge. It wraps really tight. We, we wrap all of our edges really tight here so we don't extend a bunch of film, you know, way down in here. We, we wrap them to here and sometimes even a little bit farther out. Uh, see the corners right here. I still have to tuck a little film down in there, but we've got our, our corners down there. And I still need to trim a little bit back here. I'm going to do a final walk around this hood tomorrow and hopefully we'll have some sun and you can check this thing out. Okay, so we've got the car outside. And we've got the stick carbon film on here. Looks really nice. Kind of a sun shot for you there. Real easy to apply on this hood. Any of you guys that uh, do paint protection film know that these Porsche hoods are uh, a cake to apply. And this film didn't complicate it whatsoever. Even though we had to keep the uh, lines straight here, the, the uh, weave lines, the mock weave lines, I should say. I think it looks pretty good. We'll see what the customer has to say when he shows up. Okay guys, so the customer just left and he seemed to like the car. He said he was gonna take a little while for him to get used to it, uh, but we'll see, time will tell if uh, he wants to come back. I gave him an option to come back and have that film removed and we'll put some uh, gloss film on it. Um, my thoughts on the film, it's very easy to work with. Uh, there are some cases where you can take this film and install it like regular vinyl. I wouldn't try to do it on a big hood like we did on this uh, Porsche, but smaller, uh, smaller pieces like maybe a door handle or, um, and not very intricate door handles, but uh, like a door handle or uh, say a mirror, some mirror pieces. I did the mirrors on my wife's uh, Mercedes and I did those dry and uh, so you can get the film and, and kind of uniformly pull and stretch it dry and get it on the car and, and as long as you're using what's typically known as a hard card, uh, we use hard cards that have uh, stitched, um, it's an Alcantara hard card that uh, has it stitched on one side and it gives you a nice smooth squeegee uh, to use if you want to do a dry uh, installation with that. Again, I don't recommend doing big panels this way, just a small pan uh, small little pieces like a mirror or maybe the outside of a door handle, but um, it sticks great. It, you have to use a little bit more heat to get the, the edges to wrap on this film versus uh, a regular paint protection film and I'm not sure if that's due to the embossing on it. Um, the guys at Steck would probably have more answers for that. But it does uh, it does wrap really well uh, with a little extra heat on it and it sticks uh, really well as well. So again, it's a great, awesome film uh, for hoods, roofs, uh, accent pieces, things like that. I don't know uh, if I would really want to wrap an entire car with it. Uh, that's not my flavor, not my, not my taste, but uh, I'm sure there's people out there that would love to wrap their cars. Uh, again, it's uh, not priced uh, like regular paint protection film or vinyl. It's the, the price is, uh, is up there and that's due to, uh, I'm sure, production costs on this film. Tech film looks great. It looked awesome on the car. It looks great out in the sun. It's gonna last far longer than uh, vinyl wood, especially we're in South Texas and the summers here are brutal. Uh, so <laughs> regular vinyl does not hold up. Uh, I've got vinyl on my truck out, outside there and uh, after three years it's, it's starting to, to really fail and, and show its age. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button down below. Check out our website at concourseautosalon.com for more information about what we do here at the shop if you're in our area. Or stop by, we're at 2450 Babcock Road.